Jad from London, England. My mailbag question concerns WrestleMania 34. A couple of days back, I rewatched the main event because I've been wondering if it is this WrestleMania that boasts the worst WrestleMania main event of all time. The reason I ponder this is because of the complete and utter disinterest and disdain shown by the crowd towards the match and the competitors. Beach Ball Mania ran wild once again and was greeted with boos when they were confiscated, as was Roman Reigns, plus chance of CM Punk, This Is Awful and Boring, filled the arena and the fans erupted when the match was over and Roman had not won. I know WrestleMania 9 could also compete for the title of worst main event ever, but in my opinion, WrestleMania 34 takes the cake. Does WrestleMania 34 have the worst WrestleMania main event of all time? And if not, which one does? Uh, it depends really on what you look for in a WrestleMania main event, I guess, right? It's a, it's a subjective thing. Uh, I look for not just a really good match. I look for something exciting. I want the crowd to be on their feet and really into it. I want it to feel like a like a big deal, like a special event. I just want it to feel like an epic battle. I feel like that's what the WrestleMania main event should be. And look, I get shit from people whenever I say that Roman Reigns has had some excellent matches in his career and has had some pretty damn good pay-per-view main events because he has, and some people just don't like to hear that or they like to give all the credit to his opponent, <laughs> uh, which is ridiculous. But I will say that the last three WrestleMania main events all sucked. And they all happen to involve Roman Reigns. Now that doesn't include his first match with Brock Lesnar that he had at WrestleMania 31, which I thought was one of the better WrestleMania main events. I, I thought that was a great match. Uh, but Roman Reigns against Triple H at WrestleMania 32 sucked. And you could try to convince me otherwise. Uh, maybe on another show? A non-WrestleMania show? Maybe I would not have looked at it as harshly. But for a WrestleMania main event, it sucked. Roman Reigns against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33 sucked. Now, he didn't really have a whole lot to work with in that match. And WrestleMania 34, Reigns against Lesnar, sucked. That's three in a row. And yes, the crowd response had something to do with that. The fact that... The match even happened in the first place, though. That was the problem. But I can't ever remember a WrestleMania main event where the crowd shit on it like it was freaking Backlash or Extreme Rules or some random B-show pay-per-view or, or like a television match. That should never, ever happen with your WrestleMania main event. And they should have known that going in. And they did, and they did not care. Now, let me take you back to 2014. If WWE had gotten their wish, our WrestleMania main event that year would have been Randy Orton defending the championship against Batista. Daniel Bryan would not have been part of that at all. What do you think would have happened in New Orleans if that was the WrestleMania main event? You would have had a reaction like you had this year at 34. Now, 30 ended up having one of the better WrestleMania main events in many, many years, that triple threat. And the story with Brian and the big epic win, he taps out Batista, everybody goes crazy. Thank God they came to their senses and CM Punk walked out. And we got the match that made the most sense with the outcome that made the most sense. But that's not what the original plan was. Had they gotten their way, you would have had a carbon copy of what we saw this year. And imagine, we would have had, with the exception of 31 sort of sandwiched in there, you would have had almost, what, five straight years of shitty WrestleMania main events? Hell, I'll go back even further. I thought that Cena-Rock rematch at 29 sucked. So their track record with these WrestleMania main events over the last decade or so, it ain't good. Do I think the main event this year was the worst in WrestleMania history? No, I don't. That still belongs to The Miz against John Cena at WrestleMania 27. Miz would be way more believable in that position now, today. But back then, he had no business being in the WrestleMania main event. And the match, it was it was no good. For a television match, it was fine. For a WrestleMania main event, it was no good. There really were two big problems with that match. One, Miz should not have been in the WrestleMania main event. And two, it wasn't the match that they even really promoted for the show. Which is so weird, right? 
the championship match was John Cena against The Miz, you would never have known that if you really paid attention to the promotion for WrestleMania that year. The story was not Miz against Cena. It was Rock against Cena. Those two were cutting promos on each other every week, building to a match that wasn't even going to happen. That was the match that people wanted to see. Instead, Rock came out, he was the host of WrestleMania, and he comes out to restart the match after the, the double countout, and then he ends up laying out John Cena with a rock bottom, and he gives Miz the win. All that match was was a plug. It was an advertisement for next year's WrestleMania. That's all it was. 